On a cold night at the beginning of the spring, in the thick mountain woods, my mother, the strongest wolf on the pack, feeling that the time for delivery is coming, leaves her friend behind and heads over to the little cave she has chosen for her den. Just a few more touches to make everything more comfortable, then as the labor pains start, she has just enough time to lie down and wait. In the middle of the night, my brother is the first one to be born, a cute little thing weighing 400 grams. Then finally at dawn, with one last push, my mother delivers me too. I look pretty ugly, don't I? But I will turn into a true beauty. Usually, wolves deliver five or six cubs, but this time, it's just the two of us. It must be so hard to give birth. My mother has been asleep all morning, but we are impatient to start having fun, even though our eyes will stay closed a little longer yet. Meanwhile, it's mid-May, and outside, then, spring is in full bloom. After two months spent in a dark place, it's finally time for us to explore the world. The large beech woods where the pack of wolves lives are filled with beautiful things to discover. When you're young, you have a strong desire to learn. And even though we look almost like a real wolves, we are still inexperienced young ones. Just as with you children, for us, this is a very important time because we are beginning to refine our senses through direct experience with the world. Yuck! The broom plant is disgusting! Today I found out that we wolves are carnivores and vegetables gives us stomach ache. We love to play rough and play trick on one another. This helps us to learn to run and become as strong as mom and dad. Playtime is over. In just a few months, I've turned into a beautiful she-wolf, and I have the urge to be on my own, away from the pack. It wasn't that hard, after all. We wolves are gifted with exceptional senses, perfect sight, even though we can't see colors like you humans, and incredible hearing and smell. We can always find a source of fresh water, and we have perfect sense of direction, no need for maps or compasses. Of course, Solitary life is sweet, but hunting alone is quite hard. It's time for me to find a good pack to join. My word, it's been hard to be accepted. As everybody else does, I have to submit to the authority of the head couple, the two wolves with their tails in the air. I learned the hard way what happens to those who dare to challenge the strict rule. But with time, I also learned that the important rules which guarantee survival to anyone. Only a pack where there is harmony and collaboration can succeed in the hardest and most vital activity, hunting. Our typical prey is fast and agile. And since they know us well, they are always on the lookout, ready to run away at the smallest sigh of danger. Baby goats and piglets are our favorite meals, but teamwork is fundamental to catching them. Once the prey is inside, we alternate in the chase to tire them out. Then we surround them and launch the final attack. We may seem mean and bloody, but we predators hunt only the amount necessary to survive. We often look for weak or ill prey because they're easier to catch. By getting rid of them, we fulfill an important task in maintaining the elf of the species. Time passes for all. I'm four year old and I'm already an adult. I have strength and skills in abundance. Now I am the ruling female, feared and respected by all, recognizable by my tail in the air.
Winter has arrived. It's the hardest season for us, with its cold, heavy snow covering the woods and valleys. Luckily, nature takes care of us during this season. Our coats turn into thick, warm fur. Driven by hunger, some of us get close, too close to the humans. We can move unnoticed in the dark, thanks to our powerful night sigh, our mouth's water when we hear the bleeding of the sheep from the pen. But these are not easy prey. When the dogs bark, we quietly scamper away. As strange as it may sound, our most determined enemy, the German Shepherd, is a close relative of ours and even belongs to the same species. As the snow melts, the season of love begins. The strongest male of the pack has conquered my heart. It was love at first sight. It's all new to me, and we spend a lot of time together. Now it's our turn to start a family. Kids, now that you know me better, do you really believe Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother was eaten by a bad wolf? It's just a fairy tale. The truth is that we are not the ones who to attack first. For centuries, your species has been pursuing ours. Now that you have discovered our true nature, I'm sure you will love and respect us more. I believe that thanks to your young generation's knowledge, my little ones will finally be able to run freely in our woods without fear or worry. <laughs>